Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are playing Sweden in Europa Universalis 4. Our trade boats are trading, our armies are arming, and our ally is invading. Little bastard. Why? I told you not to go to war. Stupid little guy. Ah, he gets allied with one of the biggest nations in the world, so he gets a hard-on and just goes invading his closest strong neighbor. Luckily for him, we're already at war with them, so it's not really a big deal. However, we might have to wait for him to peace out before we peace out. That way, the peace deal won't get screwed in the A. Like, one problem right now is if we peace out, uh, the Golden Horde will just rebuild units which they have none right now. They will just rebuild units, they'll go ki They'll go get all these lands back, so none of this stuff will flip, and then they might even invade and annex Wallachia. That would be bad. Um, but I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world. Hmm. You know what? Actually, yeah, that's probably fine. Even if they annex Wallachia, we can just release Wallachia, and then we can um, make the Golden Horde give them all this land. No, I guess that's fine. That works. It's not the best solution ever, but it'll work. I guess. Yeah, you can slow our investments in government trade, no problem. Because we're not going to invest in the government. Because we can't tech up the government because we're currently bulbing the government. Ah, call for peace. Yeah, okay, nope. I ain't sitting around during call for peace. Shit's gonna go down, yo. 99%. They'll give us whatever we want. Uh, basically, I want them to give lands away. Either that or release people. Uh, cancel vassals would be nice. That's a biggie. That's that's 83% right there. Wow. How many lands would Crimea get? Four. No, three. Ugh. But these are only little one province miners, right? Oh man, that doesn't feel worth it. Would Zaporozhye be Orthodox? The land is Sunni, so no, they wouldn't be Orthodox. Hmm. Let's see how much aggressive expansion we get for taking lands that we can sell to Ukraine, like uh, Kaluga and Smolensk. Uh, Poland, Olomouc, Armenia Khan, pretty much nothing. It's, it's less than 10 for that. What about this one? Same thing. What about, like, Belocetero? Same thing. So, pretty much, it's based on Europe versus Asia. Well, where is the Europe and Asia divide? Region. God, Europe is all this green crap? Really? Europe goes all the way to the Urals, but Asia starts here in Georgia. Central Asia. Georgia is Central Asia. I, I always thought Georgia was in Europe. Guess not. That's interesting. So they have like a little artificial line that goes from the Urals to uh, Azov. And that's the divider, is right here. The, that's the end of Europe. And everything over here is Asia. Uh, that means everything we've conquered is in Europe, so anything we take is going to piss off the Europeans. Even just a little bit is bad. Even this province would be. Yep. Yeah. Bavaria, minus five. Brandenburg, minus five. Um, I think it's still worth it, though. Even just to take a couple chunks at a time, just a little bit, is totally worth it. Uh, is there anything super cheap? No. Wow, why is Tula worth a hundred and... Tula is a base three tax. Why is Tula worth so much? Oh, because it's part of their vassal. Oh... And Moscow? We can. Wow, Moscow's worth 60%. Just one province is worth 60%. No, we're not going to remember them. Wow. That's an expensive province. Hmm, so we can't take three. I think we'll do that. We'll just take two. Uh, we can't make them give anything away that's any good. Uh, revoke both of their vassals. Um, they won't get rid of all their allies, but... Their allies are pretty shit, to be honest. Yeah, no, that's fine. And that's going to piss off people just a little bit. 
All right. That even pissed off Wallachia a tiny bit. Hopefully Wallachia will peace out. <laughs> Just peace out, Wallachia. Just peace out. Seriously. You're crazy, Wallachia. Go home. Crazy. Crazy. All right. Uh, are you guys moving? You're not. All right, you clowns all need to move. And that means get your butts to Warmia. Okie dokie. And uh, we're annexing uh, Georgia. And Carvuna is at 149. Okay, we can give them a gift, right? Yeah, we'll give them a gift. That'll bump it up quickly. Wallachia is at 190. They just need a peace out. We can vassalize them. Come on, peace out. Peace out, bros. One seventy six. Okay. So now it's safe to tech up. It's also safe to unfund the military. And we can sell both of these to our vassal Ukraine. Great. Actually, he may not even want this one because it's the wrong. Uh, religion, but it is the right culture, so I don't know. That's a good question. I, I don't know if he'll accept it, because it's it's his culture. He wants it, but it's the wrong religion. I don't know. Base 4 tax. He'll probably take it. The, the AI is pretty greedy when it comes to base tax. Come on, Willake, you Just peace out, dude. Then again, if he gets greedy... Oh, no, no, no. He's, he's going to lose his army right here. <laughs> Golden Horde has already grouped up 23 guys. I guess they were just hiding from my soldiers. That makes sense, though. They were just hiding. Come on, Wallachia. Peace out. Don't get annexed. Please. Please to be not getting annexed. Stupid Wallachia. We're about to be the lesser partner in a personal union. That's so bad. So bad. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, he's going to hide in Moldavia with me. <laughs> so the Golden Horde won't destroy him. That's cute. <laughs> Why don't you just peace out, bro? You know. A recruiter has died. Let's take the level one guy. I just want cheap idiots. Can we get cheap idiots? Yes. Cheap idiots for the win. Bulbit. Ooh, more advisors to choose from. I like that. Okay. We're there yet? No. One more month. Oh, uh, we need to peace out, though. Oh, no, we have in war together. That's that. Yeah, it doesn't really count, does it? Crap. Fine. We'll just have to keep bumping relations for a while. Bumping uglies. Come on, Wallachia. I know you want to vassalize. Just peace out, bro, so we can vassal you. You can't vassalize them while they're at war. They have to be at peace. Okay, you guys are ready. You're good. You're good. All my soldiers look nice and happy. They're feeling fat and sassy. I can't sell lands to Ukraine while we're at war, and I can't vassalize Wallachia while they are at war. So... Portugal, you need to peace out the half sids. Looks like that's going to take some time, though. Let's just peace them out on our own. We're going to have to piss off Portugal to... Um, well, they don't even want peace. We're going to have to piss off Portugal to get out of this personal union. Oh, personal union. Stupid queen. Why couldn't you let your kid live? Why did you have to... What is she doing? Smothering her children or something? It's got to be what she's doing. Oh, we are three years ahead. 
Um, no, I think we should spend on buildings. Let's go for some uh, more armories. No, not there. Uh, level threes? Yeah, level threes. No, not there. Uh, inland. Inland. Anywhere that's inland, get some level threes. Because everywhere else does not need them. Nope, the rest of them don't need them. Okay, let's do some more armories. Nope, training fields. Yes. Alright. Fantastic. It's a good way to blow through money. Oh, this already flipped to Wallachia. Ho ho. You guys need to peace out right now before you get too big. And before you get annexed. Come on, peace out. You're two provinces, you can get three. Just peace out, bro. Peace out, bro. Come on, Wallachia, do the smart thing. Peace out, peace out, peace out. I'm going to keep my diplomat ready just in case it happens. Come on, peace out. What? Revolt? Russian patriots? Um, look, you guys can go hunt. Well, no. You guys can hunt rebels, okay? I'll even give you a general. Do I have a general? There he is. Hello! Bingo. Have fun. You can hunt rebels as well. Great. Wallachia, please peace out. Please. Come on. You got the walls busted. You're just badass, but you need to peace out before you lose your army. Here come the, the Golden Horde. They got 47,000 soldiers coming your way. Did not take them long, did it? You're about to lose your army. Come on, peace out. God, 50, 54,000 guys. Peace out. Oh, man. You need to peace out so hard. Why did you have to declare war? Look at that. Stuff was flipping to you on your own. Okay. Let's see if they will buy. Which one's worth more? Uh, Smolensk. So let's sell him Kaluga first. Since we're at peace now, we can do this. There you go. He'll take it because it's Russian Orthodox. But I don't know if he'll take Smolensk because it's Russian but not Orthodox. I guess we'll find out. He will. Okay, so he'll convert the land. That's fine. Great. And he's super happy. He's like, yay, you gave me more land. I'm your happiest vassal ever. Like, yeah. Please peace out. Pretty please with sugar on top. Pleased to be peacing out. Oh, lose stability. And 300 ducats? Ooh. Oh, goodness. For how long? Ten years of lowered tax and trade. <sighs> yeah, it's it's worth it. It's better than losing stability. Losing stability. I'm, I'm even going to bump stability. Look at that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bump stability because I, I don't like ah, being low stability. Just not allowed. Yo. It's not allowed, dog. Okay, let's go ahead and annex these idiots. Hey, self-standing colony um, Unamakik. All right. I'll deal with them in one second. And next, and let's go check out Unamakik. You need a core, and you need to colonize. Great. Lovely. 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 Wallachia, will you, will you please peace out, Wallachia? Please. Come on, I got a diplomat just waiting for you to peace out. I know you want to peace out, and I know you want to vassalize. Please, just peace out. <sighs> well, like, yeah, you little douche nozzle. He had rebels sieging all this shit for him, and now he's fucked it up. He's gone and fucked it up. Okay, tech up our military. And we are still two years ahead. Nope. I think that means we need more buildings. Buildings? Oh shit, we still have access down here in Azerbaijan. Derp. Look at me just wasting points all day, every day. 
like a boss. Wasting points on Shen plays. Essentially, when you waste points, you waste technology. Wasting technology on Shen plays. Mm -mm. Well, like, yeah, you need a peace house so hard. Come on. You're gonna get a next. I mean, I, I don't know why you declared war. Y you're gonna get a next. You're you're gonna get a next. This is just terrible. There goes Georgia. Very nice. That didn't piss off Wallachia at all. Good. Uh, I don't need your units. I definitely don't need your navy. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, we took over eight Georgian trade boats. Do I need them? Nope. Bye. <laughs> you little fart knockers need to peace out, like, now. Who do we want to annex next? Are these guys are annexing. They just annexed. These guys annexed. We're sitting on 7 out of 6. Uh, Royal Marriage Carvuna. I guess we could go vassalize Carvuna, but... Eh, they're just a little one province minor now. They're so worthless now. And they're going to get annexed in this war. They're currently getting sieged by Serbia. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Poland. Poland, you want to vassalize? He's like, fuck you, man. Well, I just wanted to ask. I had to know. I had to know if you wanted to vassalize, okay? It's not it's not that bad, is it, being my vassal? Really, you know. Get free membership at the gym. He's like, fuck you, man. I hate you so much. Go die. Will you please just peace out? Please. Oh my god. Well, you know, one thing we could do is just declare war on the Golden Horde again. When does that end? Two years. We can go back to war with the Golden Horde. And uh, that might get... Um, that might get Wallachia well, to peace out. Maybe. It's the only thing I can think of. Otherwise, they're just going to continue warring. Okay. Here's a nice one. Paradox? Oh, there you go. Wallachia will see Yedison. And they'll annul treaties with Sweden. So that means we can't vassalize them now. God damn it, Wallachia, you little bastards. Oh. Okay. Well. No, they can't vassalize because um, the Golden Horde made them annul treaties with us, which means we they lost uh, military access, they lost the alliance, and um, we have a truce now. We have to follow the same truce that they have with the Golden Horde. So we have five years where we cannot uh, negotiate anything with them. Five years. They had such a good thing too. At least there's high revolt risk over here, but still, that was that was such a bullshit situation. Incredible bullshit on Shen plays. Incredible bullshit on Shen plays. <laughs> oh, that's frustrating. Well, what we could do is go to war with some of these morons over here and start giving land to our vassal. Uh, we have no border with them. Interesting. But uh, going to war with Azerbaijan would be good enough for that. Um... But I think we're not going to go to war with Azerbaijan until we have an easy way to access um, this area. Is he building units? No. Well, he was building units. Hey, I don't need boats. Okay, go away. 
Ah, convert that stuff. Well, I guess. Sure. Um, I don't want to go to war down here until we have easy access back and forth. And that'll probably be the next time we declare war on the Golden Horde. We'll just declare war on Azerbaijan at the same time. Sounds good. Ah, tech up again. Are we still ahead? One year ahead. No. If we're ahead, you are building training fields, my friend. There we go. Golden Horde entered a coalition against us. Oh no. Not a coalition. Uh-uh. Oh no, you didn't. Uh, I guess we could go and next trap send or something. Sure, whatever. Something to do. God dang it. So stupid. Oh, Bavaria was forced to give stuff up. Not much, I guess. No, they didn't lose anything. What was the peace deal? Bavaria have accepted the peace deal with Corinthia. Bavaria will cede Carnton to Corinthia and an Ultries. Oh, they gave land away to Corinthia. But they still have Liens. They just had to lose Carnton. Okay, whatever. Moldavian nationalists in Yedison. Okay, even though they don't have a core there, that's interesting. I guess just because they're Romanian. Oh, what are these in Bessarabia? Moldavian nationalists. Hey, go Moldavian nationalists. All right, January means we are now no longer ahead. Great. Ah, leather cannon, gallop cav, and conscription center. Okay. Leather cannon, gallop cav, bingo. Ooh, come on, Moldavian. Actually, can we declare war now? No, we still have a truce until September. Shoot. So he's probably going to kill these rebels before then. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, we can tech up. Tech up. Go. Oh, we are really catching up on Diplo tech. Uh-huh. Ah, yeah, these rebels are dead. Fuck. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ooh, Olomok and Brandenburg. What's this all about? Attacking Olomouc in the 6th Brandenburgian Reconquest of Saxony. The 6th Brandenburgian Reconquest of Saxony. Because, you know, this time things will be different. Mm-hmm. This time you'll do it right. Of course. Of course. Um, you know what? Why don't we do a war with Poland? It's something to do in the meantime. And uh, as soon as we're done with the war with Poland, we can go to war with uh, the Golden Horde again. But we do need to end this episode here, so why don't we call it here, and we'll come back in a couple of minutes on the stream for the next episode of War with Poland. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.